When you've been on a Zoom call, have you ever gotten distracted by looking at your own view? Or maybe you're a little self-conscious about how you look in video calls? Well, I'm gonna show you this one feature in Zoom that can actually help you control that, and you can actually hide your self-view, is what they call it. You can hide your own video from yourself, not from the others, from yourself. And I will tell you this has revolutionized my Zoom fatigue and just how I feel after I'm on a video call. So stick around. I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer, and before we jump into it, I do wanna remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I also have a podcast with fellow event pro Mary Davidson. It's called the Better Events Podcast. I'll link to it. Um, you should go and check it out. We drop episodes every single Wednesday with more free content about events and event planning, as well as running your own business. But without further ado, let's get back into the content. So I can't claim credit for discovering this, the magic of hiding your self view feature. I will say it got pointed out to be by my therapist and I'll stay with me. Her biggest point was in real life, when you and I are meeting face to face in person, I'm not looking at a mirror behind you. I'm not able to see myself reacting to what you're saying. And so her point was that's one of the reasons why these video calls can feel so draining because our brain is not only trying to take in the cues, the visual cues we're getting from the person we're talking to, but now they also can see us reacting to that person. So we're also taking in our own visual cues and it's extra tiring. And so her suggestion was for at the therapy session that I shouldn't be seeing myself talking to my therapist. And my brain was like, why am I not doing this with all of my client calls? So if you're someone who is continuing to remain remote, do this because I promise you it's going to save you time. But I'm first gonna jump into my Zoom and show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so I'm here in Zoom. You're getting a little bit of inception of double Logan action. <laughs> you can see me here, and then you can also see me here, uh, but that you need to have more than one person in this meeting to test it out. But you can see we I both have both of my videos on. And again, disclaimer, I am here. I'm using a, um, a MacBook. So if you are someone who is using a PC, your location of where these little controls on Zoom might be a little bit different, but the wording is the same. So I'm here on my computer. And I'm gonna go up to the, if I hover over my name, my picture, I go to the three dots. And if I click those three dots, you can scroll down, you'll see hide self view. And that's what you want, hide self view. And what it does is it's gonna hide me. So on my desktop now, all I'm seeing is the other person technically, this is Logan number two. Um, and I can't see myself anymore. But if you actually look, all right. And I am gonna show you the screenshot up here of what it looks like for my phone. So that's where my second camera. So meaning I've hidden my self view here in my Zoom on my computer, but on my phone, like let's say that's another person, they can still see my video. Now, if you ever want to kind of undo that action, you can, you go up here to view, it's a little different. So you go to the three dots over your video to hide it. But if you wanna unhide it, you go to view and you'll see your speaker, your gallery, your immersive, and you can then hit show self view. And now it shows you again. Now in a recording, this doesn't affect the recording. The recording will still have you recorded in it. All it does is it just hides your picture from yourself. Again, I do, do wanna say this is different from stopping my video. It stops my video for me. It stops for my um, attendee, my person who's on the call with me. But if I have my video on, I can turn my video on, but I can hide my self view. And so that's how you can hide your self view and take this from someone who has been doing a virtual events for the last, I guess, year and a half now that we've been in it. I am on countless video calls, not just for events themselves, but as part of the planning process. And I have seen a significant change in the energy that I feel like I'm exerting when I hide that self view. Now, trust me, it's a little weird to hide your view because maybe you're self-conscious because other people can still see you. So what I usually like to do is I'll actually keep it on for the first minute or two, couple minutes of the meeting while I make sure I'm not moving around too much, my camera angle looks good, I'm comfortable with that. And then once I've kind of gotten settled in, I will hide it because it is a distraction and it is weird. And I guess I didn't realize it till someone else told me how it's not normal for us to see ourselves reacting to people. So it's a great tool for you if you are someone who's constantly on video calls. I highly recommend it. Try it out. It might feel weird the first few times, just like making eye contact with your webcam feels weird the first few times, but I do believe this is something that's gonna save you a little bit of that Zoom fatigue that I know we all are feeling these days. 
Well, that's all I've got for you folks. Hope you enjoyed another installment of my favorite tips and tricks when it comes to event planning and running your own business. I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer and owner of Logan Strategy Group. If you're looking for any help on how to produce virtual events yourself or in-person events or hybrid, check out my website at loganstrategygroup.com and stay tuned. I drop new videos every single Monday with tips about Zoom, event planning, hybrid events, in-person events, and running your own business. So hope you have a good rest of your day, folks. Bye.